center off. Now you guys can see how bad that thing was rounded. It's 360 degree rotation there. Put that back motion in. Just take the whole nut off about that lug nut's garbage and you gotta like close the turn. So they hammered. I think hammered would be right. Just got a lug nut stuck in the tire iron. See when you round off lug nuts, you're lucky you just go one side smaller and hit it really fucking hard and then it sticks and then you just lose a, a side. So first thing here that I'm going to start with is I'm going to get the subframe put back on the front. That'll give me an opportunity to put the lower control arms on, then I can get the shocks in and get the rest of the bullshit set up so this thing can move. Two projects, one day. Finally convinced my buddy to drag his Lincoln down here. We are going to pick the car up, take the calipers off, paint match them to the car, and then we're going to do a fluid flush and we're going to put new O2 sensors in it, seeing as it is the only code that it's actually throwing. And this isn't, you know, his race car per se. It's just a very nice car he wants to try to keep in good condition so figure we'll do something cool paint the calipers and then do a little bit of maintenance as for this turd i'm gonna get to work on all of this basically gonna start by assembling the lower portions first so the subframe and then the sway bar the caster arms that are over there then i'm gonna work my way into the lower control arms the shocks pitman arm probably wrong i'm used to rack and pinion not gearbox style so this is all new to me but I'm gonna get everything put back together so I can get this car pushed out and we can get our other Mark III. Don't you go through my cookie jar. I haven't got too much time to get any bit more footage on it, but we did pretty much get it assembled on the last video. But I haven't worked out some of the kinks. I had a there's some security oh. system security alarm thing that makes it so I don't have sparker fuel apparently and i was messing around with the relays all of a sudden i got fuel again but now i'm still not getting sparks so i'm assuming it's just very very old distributor that my buddy who i bought the car from already messed up a little bit so probably gonna get a new distributor too hopefully that fixes my spark issue and we can get this thing up and going again but until then it's gonna sit and i won't be able to make any more content on this car because the only thing i care about is here no body work that custom hood though yeah, right? I'll put the hood pins on the top, make it open like this. <laughs> VR, except. 100 likes, he starts the red car. Let this guy down here, Kyle, since you're a little more familiar. You have the jack under it? Oh. So when you're referring to the z back right there? Yep. It'll be this upper bolt here and then this lower one right here. Beautiful. Well, he started on that. We're going to cast up with Kyle. Crunch shot. What are we doing over here? Going to work. <laughs> get the bolts out from the subframe. We can put the subframe back in, then get the control arms back on. Hook up the caster arms, the sway bar. At least enough to get this thing to move so we can assume another project while I wait for the motor to arrive. Excuse the mess. Yeah, I didn't really have much to do today, so I figured it'd be a good day to paint some shit and put some shit together. Sounds pretty efficient. Give you guys something to watch. Head back over to project two. I got the bottom pin off, but I'm going to have to find some sort of low pro 12 millimeter socket here. Slip that on, or maybe just use a like a box wrench or something like that so it can slip on, but I got this upper control arm here getting in my way. Uh, so we'll figure that one out in a second. And we'll be right back. Oh, it's over there in the corner behind my toolbox. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Updating the website. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. okay, so you see Not him. really gonna worry too much about torque specs right now, seeing as that there's no motor in it, so. Fine. Just need this thing to move. And what was the word on the motor? Uh, I'm waiting for. Ah. Ah. Uh, I'm getting the motor from my old boss, actually. Oh. I like it. Story behind the build. Yeah, he has it sitting in his garage right now. It just got freshly rebuilt, but he decided to go a different way and is going to sell me the motor at what he paid for it, so I'm not painting these stupid markups or anything but it's just a just a block i have some heads that i've found i just have to convince the guy to let me buy 
No. Which I'm just gonna send them and get them back. The rust penetrant. Back to the Lincoln. Ah, oh, man. Starting to rain in Minnesota. Bipolar ass state. Love it though. This bolt is really not wanting to budge at all. Break free here. And I know as soon as I do it, I'm probably gonna punch this controller. It's gonna hurt, but whatever. There we go. Woo! Organization, kids. Makes things a lot easier to put back together. Hey, a familiar face. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing, bro? Pulling off my calipers to paint them. Paint them? Yeah, I'm gonna color match them to the car. Oh, awesome, right. boss. I remember, you, I remember you were talking about that. What's up? Success. And now he's gotta repeat the process three more times. Update. Subframes in the car. Time to work our way under the caster arms and the sway bar. Thank you. It's so amazing how nice these bolts are coming out from this. But they're made in the 80s. We should get a light. Uh, I think there's a pin that this kind of sits in. That one might need to be rethreaded. That was the only one that was a bitch coming out. I want to focus on getting the suspension on this car more dialed than worrying about so much how much power I'm going to make under the hood. Because with body weight, horsepower shouldn't matter too much. I should be able to be quick enough without a million horsepower. And he's just tired of re replicating the same process over so yeah. that way. Just without tools. <laughs> Manly hands. Okay, take these sides off a little easier. So I got my box in around it and held it flush here and used a hammer to give it little taps to kind of work as an impact to break it loose and that seemed to get her off a little easier. I feel like it might be a little easier to round off a bolt doing this if it just slips around, but thankfully it just kind of cracked it loose and now we're good to go. Success. And once again, set this one right up here so it's not just hanging by the brake line. Well, we have to disconnect them from the brake line when we paint them. This bolt here, although that might be the bleeder screw, I am not too familiar with brakes to be honest. That's why I'm over here with Kyle, who is far more experienced than I am. But here, Whoa. I got these calipers off, so um, don't let them hang. Uh, no, I, yeah, I had him resting up here. Yeah, j it, it, let me get a bucket for you. I'm almost thinking that we should just turn back around quick, put the lugs on, and push the car into the driveway a little, unless you don't mind the rain. Oh, that sounds like um, the most unpleasant of things. It's like rain on Yeah, yeah just, just a little bit. Fuck yeah. There you go. Should hold the control arm nice and in place. Don't want to bolt these down too tight because they still got to get the strut in here. Strut sits on top of this one, and then this has the you know, I'm not sure. I suppose we'll look at it when we get to it. Right now, I need to get this leader screw down on the bottom here loose, and with this wobbling around, can't get much leverage to get it. So, I'm just putting these pins back in and tightening them down enough to just hold the caliper in place to get some more leverage against this and crack it loose. And I think I might go find a socket because this wrench here is pretty small and not going to give us a lot, of, a lot of leverage. Yeah, I'm going to find a 10 millimeter socket in my unorganized assorted box of tools okay what that's your box no this is kyle's oh, okay. box that's my like, box oh okay okay <laughs> ah suspension time i know i'm gonna get this control arm out of the way real quick okay. you want me to grab it yeah. whole shock will probably have to be replaced because i don't know how good this knuckle is anymore So, 
We have a lot of it all assembled. I have the subframe on, lower control arm is on. I know this turns, I'm spacing the name of this part. You guys are all gonna call me stupid online. Struts on. Now to put the bearings sketchy back together inside of the rotor, hub assembly, and then put this wheel back on. After, of course, I get the tie rod end on and everything. That should be pretty simple. I, I just, I missed, I'm missing this nut, so. We'll be all right. Mm. Okay, I got that off, and then a little bit of brake fluid got on my lower control arm bushing here. Okay. And brake fluid and any type of plastic, rubber, paint, anything like that is not a good combination as the brake fluid will eat through it, so just poured some water over it and am kind of wiping it clean here. And I'm about to go do the same thing to the other side here. Okay, Taylor, we're gonna, we're gonna do something for you real quick here. So it's gonna take a little bit of your workspace away. Uh, 